Packing for a trip can be stressful. How can you predict and prepare for every situation? What if it rains? What if there's a sudden cold front? You don't want to overpack and carry extra weight or underpack and be unprepared. Well, packing for a trip is really not too different from putting together a county budget because like your upcoming trip, we too have to look ahead and take enough with us to get us through the next year when we don't know what unexpected circumstances can come our way, but also don't wanna to pack too lightly so that we can't adjust to sudden changes and are left out in the cold. What did Williamson County include in its fiscal year 2020 budget? Let's unpack the budget and find out. First, just like you, our suitcase has different sections. The largest part of our suitcase is for general fun items. In here, we have our day-to-day -day essentials like public safety. This is the largest part of our general fund budget at 48%. That is a lot of gear, but safety is our number one priority. It includes law enforcement, our county jail, emergency medical services, including staffing for a new EMS station in Hutto, and an increase to the emergency communications budget for compensation and training. Another essential item in county government is the court system, as this is one of our fundamental responsibilities. This is about 14% of the budget. This includes justice of the peace, county courts at law, and district courts, as well as district and county attorney and district and county clerk. This year, our judicial process has been enhanced with a new pretrial process that will move people out of the jail sooner prior to guilt or innocence being determined, which reduces the cost of incarceration to the taxpayer. Next is general government at 31%. This has our financial offices such as budget, auditor's office, and treasurer. It also has offices that almost everyone interacts with, such as the tax office and elections. The general fund also covers the offices of the county judge and commissioners, as well as internal services such as human resources, facilities, and technology services. Then there is 7% for community services. This includes departments like Veteran Services, the Williamson County Regional Animal Shelter, and our fabulous Parks Department. This year, we will be opening River Ranch County Park, the county's largest park at 1,425 acres. It will have trails for hiking, biking, and riding horses, day-use picnic areas, and overnight camping. The next section is much smaller in the suitcase at 12% for roads and bridges. This is for maintaining the county's 1,400 miles of county roads that get used every day. Debt service is the final section at 32%. This fund is similar to your home mortgage. It pays for large capital improvements around the county, such as roads, parks, and buildings. Included in the budget was $42 million to pay off debt early. So, where does the money come from for all these items? The biggest source of revenue is at Valorum, or property taxes at 77%. Other sources include fees of office, charges for services, motor vehicle registration, investment earnings, as well as multiple other sources. The Williamson County Commissioner's Court was able to pack all of this for a total of $393,843,886 and also adopted a reduced tax rate at $0.45 cents per $100 valuation. Budgeting, like packing, is quite a process, but through gathering input from departments and residents and doing research, our budget allows us to best serve the needs of an ever-growing county. This has been a short, quick trip through the budget, but if you'd like to spend more time here and dig deeper, please visit our website at www.wilco.org forward slash budget. Safe travels.